I hope you're all having a great day. Yesterday was a rough day of runs because uh, we lost on Mantis B because of a rough early fight that we kind of got stuck on an enemy ship. Then we practiced Mantis B and got a revenge, and then we played the Stealth B, which is just a streak killer. And usually I feel pretty good about this ship, but we just kind of got behind and could never catch back up on Stealth B, which I feel like just happens sometimes. So time to start a new streak. It's time to start a new streak. So uh, let's let's we're gonna check out a new game later uh, called Phantom Brigade that uh, Ramsey's gifted. So I'm looking forward to that. So let's jump right into our first run of the day and see what it's gonna be. So here we go. New streak that's totally gonna go the distance, right, everybody? Right? Okay. Random ship in three, two, one, and random slug C. And uh, you know, I did say that we would start on the ship that killed us. You know, I don't I don't know that there's a lot of practice I can get on Stealth B, honestly. I don't. I don't feel the need to 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 replay Stealth B. Unlike like Mantis B, we were practicing strategies and Zoltan C, practice some stuff. There's. I feel like there's not a lot you can practice on Stealth C, Stealth B, except getting practice at getting lucky. So, I did finish Fallen Order last week, Bilbo Saggins. Yes, we did. Oh man, this ship is super strong. I think I have somebody who wants to be a slug. Yes, dirt. Gosh, I'm probably going to misspell this name, but I think there's a YouTuber named D-E-R-T-Y-P. So you can be any slug. I think Dirt Hip. I, th I think that's the name. If you're on YouTube and watch this later, uh, tell me if I misspell your name and I'll get you in on an, as a slug again at some point. So uh, apologies if I mess up your name. But there we go. We got Dirt Tip as our engines or weapons guy there. This ship is super strong, man. This ship is super strong. This is... Uh, this is near the top of the tier list right here, if it's not on my tier list. I need I need to revisit my tier list now that we've played a bunch more hard no pause. I keep saying that and I keep forgetting. Uh let's see here. So if I get two nebula jumps, I only need one nebula jump actually. And I get eleven, so Okay. I don't know, I like the ending. It was pretty good. I didn't like the final boss, Bilbo Saggins. <laughs> the more I played uh the game, the more the um, the more I did not enjoy some of the combat and the final boss I feel like really showed Damn it. Um, some of the issues with the combat in the game damn he hit my weapons that's what I was worried about Okay, it's fine. We can hack that again. Um, sorry, it's hard for me to talk about other games while playing FTL. That weapon offline. Please don't hit my weapons or shields. F U F U. Why aren't you attacking weapons, you piece of crap? I need to let the ion through, or else I have no shields for the solar flare, which is even worse. So I have to do this. Okay, at least it's not hitting my rooms. On. Get that offline. Get that damn laser offline. Thank you. There it is. Now we're good. Now we're good. Although we still have to deal with the damn solar flare. It's fine. Um, are there any slugs after YouTubers? You'd like to be one. Okay. Just use SD as the name. All right. I'll get you after I'm not in a damn solar flare as our first jump. Okay. I think fires are all gone. I think we're safe. Only one damage. Not too bad. And anyone wants to be the pilot. So Sleeping Dragon and pilot and the internet have claimed the other crew. Um, let's see. You found it to be a lot more enjoyable on the harder difficulty. Wow, you found it more enjoyable on the harder difficulty? I don't know. I don't know. The, the combat is cool, but I kept comparing it to Elden Ring and like the Arkham, Batman Arkham games, and felt like it was a little lacking in mechanics and smoothness. All right, now we can rename some crew. Right, so in and pilot, and you no, know, I like your full name. Let's call you Sleeping Sle Space Dragon. Sleeping Dragon. Everybody calls you Dragon. It's great. Uh, you're looking forward to rediscovering the new game. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm looking forward to checking out the new game too today. It should be fun. Is there any reason to go to a store early on this ship? Sell slug or fair gel, I guess. One, two, yeah. Let's see, we have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
I just want to get as many jumps for the store as possible. Hey, Tigo, thank you for the 500 bits. Here's to a new streak. Yeah, let's hope it actually is one. Could you please be a beam master? Damn, you're not a beam master. All right, then we're gonna... We're gonna hack your drone control then. Good. Oh god, the triple hit. Okay, at least we had a good dodge in there. That frickin' triple hit, though. Ah. And then the double dodge by him. Jesus. Whoa, that thing just flew. Kill those drone. Okay, combat drone is now offline. Very good. Nice. No repairs for you. All right. There we go. We should be good. There are probably crew kills with this ship, but I'm probably not even going to try to do it until we get to level 2 shield because just we don't want to take damage while we're trying to crew kill. Um, Der Tip is German for the guy. Okay. Then hopefully <laughs> that is the right name then. What's up, Wolf Drive? Is it streaking time? Yes, it is. What did we lose on yesterday? Two different ships, Julian Verse. We lost on Mantis B to a Sector 1 situation that we had to practice after. Because Mantis B is very susceptible to not being able to kill enemy ships with heal bays. And there was a ship with a level 2 heal bay. And then we, ran, we ran to Mantis B. Ah, Stealth B is our other ship. And Stealth B, you know its issues. Hey, you were about to say, damn, it's an early stream, but you just haven't done anything yet today. Okay. <laughs> Yay, we get to Masala Maneuver, which will hopefully mean he doesn't have a missile online. Ugh. God damn it, they're dodging my first volley every goddamn time. And now I have no shields for this next shot. Jesus. Don't hit my weapons. Don't you hit my effing weapons. Okay, good. Hoping I would dodge. Oh, God. I did that wrong. I was trying to let that guy in, but I just... Whatever. Am I probably not? Not with the heal bay. That is a not bad deal. Not good enough though. Fire in there. Oh, maybe should have not let him out so soon. Right, maybe they don't put out that fire micro kill. I mean. Rock crew, now we never. Uh, I switched my long stream to the only day of the week you work eight hours. Well, Julian versus my my streams never change in time, but I guess you're saying you work. I switched my long day of FTL to your long day. So sorry, sorry. <laughs> People were confused about my bonus stream yesterday. Um, yeah, that was. I don't know what my OBS did. I hit end stream yesterday on OBS. I don't know if I double clicked or OBS just glitched and it turned back on the stream and I didn't know. So I think it just stayed on the stream is over screen for like 15 minutes. So apologies to anybody who was confused by that. Just OBS being funky. Um, as soon as I noticed it, I was just like working on highlights afterwards. So it's not like... I think I turned my mic off and everything. So it was just a... <laughs> Stream of silence for a while, so apologies about that. Uh, how can I get seven here? Seven, six, five, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have seven. That connects. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go for that. He's got an ad for the Tetris movie. <laughs> there's a Tetris movie. Okay. Oh man, there's a there's a Albert beam. Man, I kind of want to buy that. 
Uh, it's rated R. Makes you think it's going to be like, these sets of four blocks are tired of being used. Beware their vengeance or something. <laughs> rated R Tetris movie. Okay. Oh, it's a Professor Leskin. And... Bricks get busy. Uh, do we buy a halberd beam here? It would take us a long time to get it online. Although, if I just get one level in weapons and hacking, that's going to be quite strong. I kind of want to buy it, but it delays my shield a bit. I feel like this ship can afford to have a slightly delayed second shield if it's worth getting the weapon I put at the top of my tier list. I know there's a Super Mario movement coming out with, uh, what's his face? From Guardians of the Galaxy is Mario. I'm gonna buy it, man. I'm gonna buy it. I'm not gonna get it online yet because the first thing we need to do is actually get our second shield, but getting one of the best weapons, if not the best weapon of the game, is definitely worth, I think. The Crisp Rat. Uh, oh, Chris Pratt. <laughs> yeah, the Crisp Rat. I've not seen that meme. Ah oh, man, no free stuff. The movie's animated? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it's his voice. He's the one voicing Mario. Goodness. Empty jumps. Okay, so far this Sector 1... Trash tier. Come on, three more jumps that I have left. Make this not worse than every Sector 1 we've had lately. Okay, good. I'm doing the same thing back at you, douchebag. Okay. This fire, then we hack it. This actually really sucks. We both have hacked each other's weapons, but his weapons fire faster than mine. I could get royally screwed here. Okay, I didn't hit my weapons. For the love of God, don't you double dodge me. Okay, okay. We're fine, we're fine. Oh, we're not fine, because freaking hacking, but we're fine. Um, he's not even doing an Italian impression, shaking your head. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's weird. It's a weird choice to do an animated series or an animated movie based on a video game character with possibly the most iconic voice of all time and not use the actual voice actor like it seems like kind of a <laughs> spitting on the guy who created the voice of mario oh it's level two hacking no wonder um ftl movie focused on a boarding clone bay run would be harrowing yeah yeah it would when is that ftl movie coming in it's already out it's called kesherl adventures okay you don't think Nintendo is going to try another live action adaption after the last failure? You don't think so? <laughs> uh, so many dodges. I wonder who would play each race's main character. Vin, Dis Vin Diesel as the Mantis wearing claw hands. <laughs> that sounds about right. Epic FTL movie about a stealth B run. The runtime is a half hour. They spend time introducing the characters, building up your sympathy. Then they die in the first battle because a heavy laser hits weapons and a double fire starts through cloaking. Sounds right. Sounds, sounds like a typical FTL run. Uh, Vin Diesel will be the rock guy. Okay. We got a map. Thanks for that map at the end of the sector. Right, we can at least get shield value. I did spend 65 scrap on a... on a halberd beam, so probably my own fault. You heard the voice actor can't actually do the voice for very long because the dude's too old. I mean... He doesn't have to do it very long, right? You just do multiple takes. Okay, I'm hacking the drone. With the magic of modern technology, I would I would think you could they could just take it very slow, man. What's the difference between doing multiple takes to rest his voice and uh, you know doing multiple takes of bad actors or voice actors who are not the best? God, these freaking dodges. Why is it nothing but an assault, all assault ships uh, needing multiple takes to get their lines right? There. 
It's a me, a Star Lord. <laughs> That's right. Uh, trying to appeal to a more general audience with the voice actors. Yeah, I, I guess so. I guess. His voice is iconic, but he has only ever said seven things. The OG Mario's voice voice actor will be in the movie somewhere. Okay, so he gets like a cameo. Okay, that's 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 okay. Still, it's I don't know, man. I guess I guess voice acting's a thing. Like you know, if I hear anybody except Mark Hamill do the voice of Joker, I'm always like, yeah, that's not Joker. But I know a bunch of other voice actors have done Joker now, so. Hot take, you loved the live-action Super Mario movie. <laughs> it's been a while, so I don't remember if I actually liked it. Nice. All right, we got our second shield. It was a rough sector one, but we got there. And we got a halberd beam, so actually probably a really good sector. Those last four jumps, three, four jumps were really nice. Dwayne Johnson is literally the rock, so he should be the rock. Okay. It's a me, a cameo! <laughs> Oh, wow, these are, speaking of rocks, terrible sector choices. I guess I have Clone Bay for rock-controlled, um... Uh, what's it called? The, uh, Rock Live Mine, and we can hack weapons, so maybe Rock is slightly better than Zoltan here? I actually think Rock might be better here. Heath Ledger did a pretty good. No, oh, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about people who played the Joker. I'm people I'm talking about who, people who voice acted the Joker in the Batman cartoons. Because Mark Hamill was the original. And then I think the guy who does Bender did it at one point, and some other guy. I've heard their different versions of the Joker. I'm. Do I take Rock Controlled? Yeah, Zoltan's shields are bad against. I'm actually going to take Rock Controlled here. There's a dude who does Vader's voice in literally everything, not mainline. He does a stellar job with it. It's the dude that did Chad Vader videos on YouTube. <laughs> really? Nice. Well, our instant store in Rock Sector seems kind of worthless. Although I might need the fuel. I think I go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Get as many jumps before the store as I can just be able to buy fuel. I can't believe I already out of fuel so fast. All right, free stuff is good. I want to get the weapon value, but we should wait till I go to the store. All right, I think I'm going to save a drone part here. Although he might do damage if he double hits me. Okay. Double dodge. Get double doged. Get double doged. And the value point shields. Like every freaking ship in the galaxy. Damn it. Oh, there's my greed for. God damn it. Not hacking. Alright, screw your weapons. F this crap. Uh, chain laser, best laser. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, banana ship. He voiced Vader in the Force Unleashed and Jedi Foil, Fallen, Order, Fallen Order. I didn't notice the voice of Vader in Jedi Fallen Order. Maybe it was very good. I honestly didn't really pay attention. Never a crew kill here, maybe. Who's gonna be the voice actor for the 2x2 and the 4x1 blocks in Tetris? That's the real mystery. What the hell even is the Tetris movie like? What even is it? Oh, well. oh he resisted. Okay. I was gonna say, resist is our one way of maybe crew killing. Resist? No, resist. Oh, well. I'm gonna have to watch the trailer for whatever the Tetris movie is, because how can there be a Tetris movie and how can it be rated R? Is this a meme? There's gotta be a meme, right? Matt Sloan, his channel is Blame Society Films. Okay. It's the history of how Tetris came to be. It's about the creator of Tetris. Oh, so it's like a it's like a Facebook It's like the Facebook movie then. Some guy in college creating a game, right? 
Apple movies thing. Vader's voice is iconic, but they screwed over the actor back in the day. You think they didn't even tell him those lines would be spoken by someone else in the movie? Oh, yeah. I think I've heard that story before. But, I mean, how can you be mad if your voice is taken over by James Earl Jones? Like, seriously. If I was in a movie and I did all my lines and then I found out James Earl Jones was going to be... James Earl Jones is going to be dubbed over for my voice. I feel like I couldn't even be that mad. Like, like, oh, oh, that's, okay. Basically the voice of God. I guess, I guess I can't be mad. Although I could, I could see how that would make an actor mad, though. But still. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, this might be a crew kill. Go for it. If I just wait, now that the O2's dead. Uh, like Social Network, yeah. You can think of a couple ways to make a movie about long, long pointy things going into holes, existing in other things, rated R. Okay. <laughs> It'd be cool if it was James Earl Jones or Morgan Freeman. Yeah, either one of those. It made him replaceable and probably did get less money. You would be mad. Okay. I was memeing, but yeah. Uh, yeah. That's kind of sucks for that guy. Uh, um, you're not allowed to repair that. There we go. Plus, it just depends on how many, many takes they made him do. According to Wikipedia, it's about the legal battle to secure the intellectual property rights to Tetris. Okay, that sounds really boring. <laughs> Feels like a really boring movie. But I never saw Social Network either, so. You used to have James Earl Jones reading the Bible on CD. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, basically is the voice of God. That's right. I guess I could do this and that'll probably finish him, huh? Well, not if he dodges. Apparently Vader was voiced by Al. Al or AI in Obi-Wan Kenobi? James Earl Jones signed off on it since he's retiring. Okay. Okay. All right, store. We got to buy fuel and some repairs. <laughs> Voiced by artificial intelligence. Okay, I was gonna say, who's Al? <laughs> uh, Al Yankovic. Al Yankovic as Darth Vader. I would pay to see that movie. All right, I think we get backup battery and repairs and fuel. Sounds good to me. Okay. All right, we have all our systems ex ex systems is ex except cloaking. So next, I think we get level weapon upgrade, level two hacking, and then we save up for cloaking. Oh, I forgot to hit enter. That's why I'm. This ship is so strong. I'm like barely barely attention, barely paying attention to the run as I read chat. So, an Al, an AI named Al would be a great annoyance. Yes, it would. An AI named AI, an Al named Al. When someone said Tetris movie, you thought it would be a sequel to Pixels, you know, aliens or whatever, leveling cities, or whatever, leveling cities with giant Tetris blocks. Okay. F you, FTL. Damn asteroids. Let's go. Good dodge. Right, I gotta pay attention. This guy's got a damn missile. Good. No more missiles for you. Double doge. Double doge. Get wrecked. Uh, the ship is so strong. Yes, this ship has a chain laser. Yes, that's the reason. Right there. The fact that the two ships that start with chain lasers are actually really strong. <laughs> Sadly, not because they have a chain laser, Julian Verse. Wow, we already got level 2 piling and engines. That's nice. He did technically voice Anakin, didn't he? In the saga begins. Who? The guy who originally did Vader's voice? That would be an interesting piece of trivia. Uh, speaking of some Star Wars stuff, oh gosh. Uh, some of us were having a conversation this weekend about the end of Return of the Jedi, specifically how Lucas added Hayden as a Force ghost. 
Since Luke only has seen Vader right before his death, he wondered at the end if Luke, upon seeing them, thought, Nice, Obi. Nice, Master Yoda. And hey, what's up, random young dude? <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's funny. I'm your father. No, you look like my brother. Or maybe my taller cousin. You ever think about how tall Aiden Christensen is and how short Mark Hamill is? Why did Mark Hamill get the short jeans? It's also a fact that they both have hacking. Oh, both the chain laser ships. No Weird Al. He has a parody song of American Pie. Oh, yeah. Long, long time ago, in a galaxy far away, Naboo was under an attack. You want to talk? You want to talk? Weird Al. I got, I, I'm right there. I'm ready. I saw him in concert last year. Best concert I ever saw. Uh, one more scrap to get the weapon up. Great. And I thought me and Qui-Gon Jinn would talk the Federation into maybe cutting them a little slack. But their response, it didn't thrill us. They locked the doors and tried to kill us. All right, what do we got? We got a burst laser too. We escaped through that gas. Met Jar Jar and Boss Nass. Man, I love Weird Al. So good. Have y'all seen the Weird Al movie? It's so good. Weird Al movie is so good. I think I saw on Facebook that Daniel Radcliffe got a nod for some comedy movie award for best actor for the Weird Al movie. The Force Ghost is just Weird Al in a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> That's got to be somewhere on, on the internet. There's got to be a Force Ghost of Weird Al in a Hawaiian shirt somewhere. If there's not, somebody get on it. Somebody get on that. And he's going like this, you know, just the, the stupid Weird Al overly happy wave. I could have, no, I couldn't have got the weapon upgrade because I was in asteroid field. All right, so this and this, I can't do both. Which do I want? If I go hacking plus halberd, I'll be able to get through three shield, uh, two shields. So let's start with that. Start with that. NG controlled or NG homeworlds? I don't really want either, but if I have to choose one, I'd probably choose controlled, but then I'm forced into a nebula. Um, are there any red sectors I'd want if I go to NG homeworlds? Rebel stronghold? I don't... Can Rebel stronghold be in sector four? I'm not sure. This is official ship. Yeah, this is our one hard no pause run of the day. Chestnut, we randomed for a new streak, the Slug Sea. Stronghold's only five and later, okay. Playing an accordion, but it's silent because music doesn't go through the Force Ghost world. <laughs> I don't know. Obi Wan talked as a Force Ghost to Luke. I would listen to Force Ghost Weird Al play a song on the accordion. I don't have long range scanners, right? No. Well, maybe we go to NG Control, because I don't want the NG Homeworlds quest. Which we couldn't get anyway, because we don't have an NG. And we hope we find a store with long-range scanners for the nebula coming out, coming after. Mantis Homeworlds, maybe? Eh. I don't know. Seems pretty... Unlikely we get enough scrap that I'm going to... Buy sensors, get it to buy sensors, get it to level three, and upgrade clone beta level two. That's a really big investment. Hacking? Yeah. Oh, mind control. Okay, nice. I say, I think I have something that lets us do this. Okay, so now I can hack and halberd beam against two shields. All the dead Jedi whispering into Ray's ear. Oh, God. Those aren't real. That doesn't exist. We we don't talk about that. There is no Ray. There's no Ray Skywalker. There are no... All the Jedi are one. Memes. Um, or whatever the hell they said. Okay, this guy can't damage us. So... This... I 
Actually, is there a crew kill here? If I didn't halberd beam him, probably there was. Um... A little late to start trying to crew kill now, I guess. Yeah, no crew kill. Oh well, my bad. Um, oh, oh, damn it, I did not. Uh, mess that up. I don't actually want to vent my dudes. Who's Ray? Yeah, I know, right? Would have been so cool if you just hear the cantina tune suddenly. What, when the force ghosts are all talking to her or something? <laughs> Palpatine definitely died at the end of the turn of the Jedi and never came out, came back, unless it was in Star Wars Legends and there was clones that were done well. I think there was a Timothy Zahn. Maybe not Timothy Zahn. I think there was some... Star Wars Legends that I read that had that. I forget which one it was. I think it was a Timothy Zahn one. There were, under the mountain, there was some old Force wizard guy. I forget his name. 7652. Okay, so I can go to the store and get the quest. Horball something. Do I mean Newt? Newt Gunray. Totally. Can't undo the movies, even if you don't like them. The new empire called Disney overrules you. I don't accept it. No. No, it's not possible. I'll never join you. Uh, you're still waiting for the Darth Vader versus Mickey Mouse lightsaber duel? The only thing about Star Wars being owned by Disney you want. <laughs> okay, nice. I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy two fuel, because apparently we just can't get fuel. I mean, this is assuming this is not a dive. I sure hope that's not a dive. It doesn't look like a dive. But there was one yesterday that looked nothing like it. That looked everything like a dive in one of the dives, so. Well. Who, all like, who all likes cantina music? Best jizz band in the galaxy. It's right. That that the name shouldn't be what it is. <laughs> all right, can I crew kill this guy? Since he can't damage me, I'm going to attempt to. If I do this... Okay, level 202. Repair drone. Okay, we're never crew killing this. Never mind. Level 2 repair drone means we never actually get his O2 down. Enough to kill him, I don't think. Unless I'm very, very patient for something. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to be ever patient enough. Triple NG repair drone. Yeah, there's no crew kill here. Best head, best cannon is head cannon. That's right. Come to the dark side. We have Mickey. Uh, um, have I seen the piano guys Imperial March video? They did. It's goofy on electric cello. Okay, I'll have to check that out. No med, med band that can't hurt hurt you. So yes. I can mind control over and over again, then kill last person with Halberd Swipe. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. Too lazy. Too lazy and also too boring sounding. That sounds like that would take like 45 minutes to do. With NGs fighting each other. Uh, the fact that Disney owns Star Wars means that we can see Vader at Disney World, right? That sounds like a good thing. Yeah, there's, there's Star Wars World at Disneyland, I think. I think uh, Shogi can confirm that because I think he has gone there recently. Uh, don't they already have a Star Wars ride? I think they have a whole Star Wars part of the park, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so do I want to get a weapon upgrade or do I just keep this and save for cloaking? I'm kind of wanting to just save for cloaking now. Universal does. Hey, nice free stuff. Uh, so I either go to the store or I go to the quest. Can't do both. One, two. Yeah. Did quest be a store? I can't remember. Both the stores and empty. It's called Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland. There you go. Okay, we do get a store anyway. Oh my god, it's a flack. Oh man, 
man, this feels... Oh, this feels like a huge debate. And I want to do it, man. Oh, I want to do this so bad. Since Disney owns Marvel, we can see Luke Skywalker versus Luke Cage someday. I know, right? Oh, man, I want to do this so bad, but I, I think it's actually the wrong play. Unless I sell Halberd Beam and go Flak plus Chain Laser, but that does not seem like the right play. Greedy, but my offense is set for the game. I mean, I have Hacking plus Halberd Beam. I don't need it. It puts me so far behind in getting Cloaking. Honestly, even maybe buying an NG would be better than that. I, 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 can't, I can't do it. I want to do it so bad, but I think it's the wrong play. I could sell chain for flak, but again, I still have to spend 85 on weapons to upgrade to use it. No, we're not doing it. If I if I swell that if I sell that chain laser, Julian verse swears to dog. <laughs> we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Too inefficient. Too inefficient. And we have a weapon. We have our weapon. Wow, he does not get that off in time, huh? Oh, that was a fast shield repair, though. Oh, nice! Swear to dog. You shouldn't. That's sacrilegious. Oh, wait, no. That's a different swearing. Probably a good reward for crew killing this, but I don't see how to make that happen. 18 scrap. Disappointing I didn't get the flak, yeah. When you think Marvel and Star and Marvel and Star Wars, you always think of the glow stick of destiny in Avengers. Glow stick of destiny. I don't know if I know what that is. Is that in one of the movies? Was that for them to avoid saying lightsaber? Chain laser actually does synergize with Halberd really well once you can get it online. I mean, not as well as Flak. It's just it's just a slower Flak. Damn it! Failed. Yeah, this is missiles are down. Everything about, I'm sorry, I know you love it, Julian Verse, but everything about Black is just better than Chain Laser. More shots, lower amount of time, cheaper to buy. Actually, it's the same price to buy. Basically, those two things. It's faster and more shots. It's the scepter that Loki turns people with, the Tesseract staff. Oh, okay. Um... It's what Tony called the scepter. Ah, okay, gotcha. I think it fits a lightsaber. That's why you always come back to that line. Glow Stick of Destiny is another name for a lightsaber. Okay, <laughs> I can see it. Uh, flak generally synergizes better with beams than any laser because the flak projectiles all hit at the same time. So you have a longer window where the shields are down. Yeah. La la la, I'm not listening. <laughs> Jillian, Jillian first. Nothing is better than a chain laser. <laughs> la la la. You can't make me agree. Okay. Okay, you're running. I might try to crew kill this, actually. I hit all these rooms and mind control. Whoever goes into the shield room will mind control them, then they fight in there. No O2. Okay. 
I hack O2 here, I could probably guarantee this. Maybe, well, depends if they ever go to piloting, I guess. Okay. I can slowly repair stuff. Purposely not repairing anything yet. I mean, not, not firing again yet. This should be an easy crew kill, even with them running. Two shots will kill him. I need to not auto fire this. I need to make sure he doesn't move. I should do it. Oh, ah, he moved! Damn it! Okay, the exact thing I said I didn't want him to do. I have to be patient. I have to wait this out. Because if he actually does damage here... Okay, we're good. We're good. Hey! That's a that's a worthwhile pickup. Alright, do I have anybody from YouTube who has to be a, just any Zoltan? No, I don't think so. So that is an RPG Nerdos Shield Zoltan if I've ever seen one. Welcome, RPG. That was a great reward. The images are cool, but have you ever heard of our Lord and Savior, Chain Ion? Legends whisper of how powerful Chain Ion is since it's fully, once it's fully spun up. However, this takes longer than the average lifespan, and therefore no one has ever witnessed this legend. <laughs> Alright, Slughorn Nebula, it's a good chance of getting cloaking this sector. But I do need to get level 202. Ooh, we have a chance for Slocknog for Salad Bucket, who always wants to be Slocknog. Damn, I was really hoping not to get a bunch of empty jumps before our first door, because spending that first bit of scrap on O2 puts me a little behind on what I wanted to do. Refuse! I refuse. Alright, this is a crew kill. If I'm patient. And we will be patient for the crew kill. I'm sure Captain Knights is a is a better award. That is a level 302 system, by the way. Holy shnikes. What's up, Bub, sir? Good luck with the run. Thank you. Can you join RPG in controlling that Zoltan? That's making an RPG Bilbo. No surrender. Um, that's up to RPG. RPG Bilbo. Sounds like um, Lord of the Rings um role-playing game or something. Why does RPG Nerdos always get a free spot? It ain't fair. Because RPG is literally always here. <laughs> and also, RPG has created about 5,000 ships for the stream. So RPG absolutely has earned his spot. Once you've designed 500 ships for our uh, viewership creation days, you can also claim a spot. Nerd Sagans. <laughs> Nerd Sagans. Uh... Yeah, all you have to do is ask to be... Uh, there's... Uh, I was going to say, there's there's a slug available. There's not. You can be the next crew if you want, Chestnut. You just got to ask for it. Just got to be quick. You just got to be in chat and ask for it. I mean, the YouTube list of names keeps growing. You all see the list? You probably can't see that, but that is like people on YouTube that keep asking to be crew. So all you got to do is ask. All right. That was a good reward. All right. We almost have enough for cloaking. I don't have anything to sell. One, two, three, four. Hopefully between... These four jumps we can get cloaking and our systems are done would be amazing. Okay. 
Empty jumps won't make it happen, though. Come on. Come on. I only need 18 scrap. Uh, oh, I can't kill this guy now. This is why I don't counter the damn hacking. There's no way for me to kill this guy because I used my fucking hacking on that. God damn it. God damn it. This, this, this event right here is why I never counter remote hacking when I get boarded. And when people ask, why don't you counter the hacking? It doesn't cost you anything. It's because I get it mixed up this effing event right here. This goddamn event where now I can do literally nothing to this guy. And there's another event where they free hack your sensors and people ask, why don't you just counter it? It doesn't cost you anything. It cost me forgetting. It cost me forgetting. That's what it cost me. God damn it, man. I think that just cost me my chance at cloaking. It did tell me. Yeah, but you, you're you assuming I read. I can't read. I can't read and watch chat and do everything all at the same time. I just can't do it. Yes, I did say I can't read. So basically, I'm saying hashtag lane chat. That's basically what I'm saying. No, I need my second sheet. Okay, now we can afford cloaking. So hopefully this door has cloaking. Can I go back there now? I don't actually know if I can. I knew it was a hacking event. You can take three seconds to read. They're hacking your doors. I could. I could. You could say I could take three seconds to read every single event that I've done 5,000 times. I could, but I'm not going to. Uh, sounds like you when you play Slay the Spire. Slow down some and you'd beat more runs. You just want to kill everything? Yeah. Like. All right, well, there's a the long-range scanners. Store's gone. Asking me to slow down and read, though, is, is just, it's not going to happen. I'll be honest. It's not going to happen. Uh, yeah, it's totally your fault. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Still want to save up for cloaking. We've seen two stores. There is a chance of third store outside of Nebula, I think. I could stop and read, but then I don't have anything to complain about, you know? Oh man, don't bomb my weapons. Yo. Fuck you, FTL. Give me some fucking dodges. Am I dead? I think I'm dead on this ship right now. I think I'm actually dead on this ship right now. There's a fire somewhere. I don't know where it is. This fucking ship, by the way. Wow. Um... Wow. All right, I think I'm done with FTL for today, actually. I think this is going to be our one run, and I think I'm done with it. Zero fucking dodges. All right, we're checking out a new game. Oh, we're not dead somehow. I was just, I was just, I was ready to leave. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four. That's a five power weapon system that just deleted us. <sighs> God damn it. Now I have to prolong this bullshit. 
Saving for cloaking, yeah. Blame my saving for cloaking. Oh, there's fucking beaches everywhere. Uh, you get the sense watching my FTL, my plays, FTL can scale far too hard too early. Yes. It is, it's what it does in hard mode. Damn it, I kind of wish I just died so I could stop playing this stupid game, but now I have to actually prolong my suffering here. Yes, five free hull damage easily kills you. It has happened many times for Oh, God damn it. Oh, God, I hate this game. Well, no cloaking for us. If I had this, maybe I wouldn't have just gotten Shrek so hard, but still don't think any of my plays were bad, except for the fact that I missed the the thing earlier, because well, I didn't read the event. So I have to hack his missile to not instantly die, but if I do that, I have to have Chain Laser Halberd do all the hits for us to do any damage, so... We're probably dead here. Probably just dead here, which is kind of great. Strongest ship in the game. Me not paying attention for one or two seconds in chat. And uh, FTL just fucking instantly kills us. God, this game sucks. Oh my god. Alright, there it is. Alright, well, this is going to be a very short YouTube video. And uh, sorry to all you people who don't want to do see me play anything but FTL, but I'm done with FTL today. One of the strongest ships in the game, and we just got destroyed by some ridiculous ships. So uh, I'm going to swap games, but I'm actually going to go clear my head because I'm kind of raging right now. So I'll see you all in just a bit. Just a bit. We're going to check out uh, Phantom Brigade after this. I'll see you in a bit, my friends.